arrogant and proud hearts. Daniel chapter 5 verse 18 through 23. Your Majesty, the Most High God gave your father Nebuchadnezzar sovereignty and greatness and glory and splendor. Because of the high position he gave him, all nations and peoples of every language dreaded and feared him. Those the king wanted to put to death, he put to death. Those he wanted to spare, he spared. Those he wanted to promote, he promoted. And those he wanted to humble, he humbled. But when his heart became arrogant and hardened with pride, he was deposed from his royal throne and stripped of his glory. He was driven away from people and given the mind of an animal. He lived with the wild donkeys and ate grass like the ox. And his body was drenched with the dew of heaven until he acknowledged that the Most High God is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and sets over them anyone he wishes. But you, Belshazzar, his son, have not humbled yourself, though you knew all of this. Instead, you have set yourself up against the Lord of heaven. You had the goblets from his temple brought to you, and you and your nobles, your wives and your concubines drank wine from them. You praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone, which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the God who holds in his hand your life and all your ways. Heavenly Father, forgive us for being foolish, for having our hearts full of pride and boasting in the glory that belongs to you. Everything we have achieved is because of you, and we should live in a state of gratitude, acknowledging your wisdom and power that works in us and for us. Today we see those who are wealthy and powerful living as if they're gods in our land, without submission to laws or ethics, circumventing their own glory and fame. You have given us all time to come to our senses by humbling ourselves and seeking your forgiveness. The king was alerted of what his end would be due to his behavior and had the opportunity to be redeemed from his impending fate. Have mercy upon us all this day. Let us see the destination of doom so we can make the change. In Jesus' name, amen.